May is American Stroke Month, and one of the top priorities for health experts is educating people about how to recognize the symptoms fast. They also want people to have the courage to act when they recognize those symptoms, and that's because the clock is ticking. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why taking action is so important, Doc. Well, Kim and Devin, when you're suffering a stroke, an estimated 32,000 neurons in your brain are dying per second. The faster you get to help, the more options we have to stop the stroke, and the more effective the treatments will be at preventing death and disabilities. But getting there, that's truly half the battle. We use the term time is brain. So the faster that we're able to get blood flow back to the brain, um, the better the outcomes are that people can have and less disability. Dr. Rebecca Krizovich is the director of Corwell Health's Comprehensive Stroke Center. She urges everyone to remember the acronym FAST. F is for facial drooping or asymmetry. A stands for arm weakness on one side. S is problems speaking or understanding speech. And T is time to call for help. The major reason people don't? A lot of patients when they're having stroke symptoms think they're gonna improve. So um, even though time is so important, they're waiting to see if they get better. Patients have told me many times, I went to lay down, take a nap to see if it got better over time. Some people don't seek help because they don't experience any pain, and others are concerned about causing a scene. They're embarrassed to call 911 about having an ambulance come or concerns about the cost. Um, but we know that the absolute benefits and the, the decrease in disability certainly outweighs those things. So it's about educating our community. A lot of the treatments that we do for stroke are very time dependent. So there are potentially medications we can administer in the hospital or potentially procedures we can do in the hospital, but patients have to get there right away. And there is a, a time limit of when we can provide those type of interventions. Now, other stroke symptoms can include sudden balance problems or sudden loss of vision in one eye or one field of vision. Now, I totally understand why no one wants to be wrong and come to the ER if you're not actually having a stroke, yeah. but there is a huge potential in, in terms of your health if you delay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what she was just describing there, I think, suggests that there is a difference in the response in the ER if you come by ambulance versus just sort of Strolling showing up, in there. right? Yeah. yeah, there kind of is, actually. So if you come by ambulance, the ER usually gets kind of a a heads up that a potential stroke is coming in and that can potentially speed up how quickly you receive care once you arrive because if the ER is very busy and triage is backed up then we're evaluating you at triage before you get right back. Yeah, yeah. And seconds make the difference here. It maybe. can. Yeah. Minutes, yeah. seconds. Yeah. I mean it's really a matter of time. Time is brain. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks Dr. George.